Hey guys, it's Rachel from Hope Corner Farm. By day, I'm a home ec teacher who teaches hundreds of students how to crochet, quilt, sew, and cook. And today I'm gonna to teach you how to make this crochet flower granny square. It turns out really pretty. You need four different yarns and you can even use your scrap yarn for this project. You do need to grab a G hook, a yarn needle, and some scissors as well. Once you're ready, let's grab a crochet hook and some yarn and we'll get crocheting. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so you get notifications of when I post new videos, and don't forget to give me some feedback on this video. Give me a like or a comment, let me know what I did well or things that I can improve upon. So you can see the four colors I've chosen here, and that's what I did with my sample ones. And you can see this is the sample I'm gonna choose to make today. This is the color combo and the color order that I'm gonna choose to make today. Um, simply by changing the placement of those same four colors, you can completely change the look of those squares. I'm gonna show you a picture right here. That's what makes the granny square so fun, is just how you place your colors can totally change the look or the feel of your squares. So grab your yarns. Um, these are all medium weight yarns that I have here. Um, I'm gonna use a G hook for this tutorial, a pair of scissors, and a needle. So once you've gathered your four yarns and all of your necessary materials, we'll get started. We're going to start round one with a magic circle. Now I'm going to show you how to magic circle here, but if I move too fast, you can check out the link below that takes the magic circle a lot slower and in more detail. It's a tutorial just for the magic circle itself. Um, I just love how the magic circle makes this look. You could start by chaining four and slip stitching to the very first chain to form a circle, but I just feel like it gives a nicer look to the center of my granny squares if I use a magic circle. So for my magic circle, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna pinch my yarn just like this. Here's my yarn tail. I'm gonna go across the top of three of my fingers, come on the underside of those three fingers, come back up, and then cross over. So I've crossed over here. Now I'm gonna take my hook and I'm actually face down. I'm gonna go under the first loop and over the second loop. I'm gonna take my yarn, pull forward till I get, it almost looks like an A there. I'm gonna rotate my hook so we have now formed a loop there. Now I'm ready to chain a little bit, but I need to take it off my fingers. So I'm gonna pinch here, hold things in place. I'm gonna get ready to go. And then I'm gonna simply chain two. So here's one and two. Now I'm ready to place my double crochets into the middle of my magic circle. So I'm gonna place 15 double crochets into the middle of this magic circle here. Um, if you need to see how to double crochet and slower, more detailed movements, I've got a link to a video for that below as well that takes it a lot slower and in more detailed movements. But simply I'm yarning over, going into the circle, yarning over, pulling through the circle. Now I've got three loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over pull through two and that's as simple as it is to put those double crochets in there. So I'm going to quickly put 15 double crochets into this magic circle and then I'll show you how to close it when we get to the end of this round here. Now I've got 15 double crochets in the middle of my magic circle so this is kind of what it looks like here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to gently untangle that yarn tail then I'm gonna put a little bit of pressure here and I'm gently gonna pull. And I'm gonna pull on my yarn tail to tighten, tighten, keep tightening until that middle circle is all the way closed. Now, to finish the round, I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna slip stitch to the top of that chain two. So I'm gonna yarn over, pull through, pull through, and that closes my circle. I'm gonna clip off my yarn. I'm gonna fasten off. I'm gonna put my yarn needle onto my yarn tails and I'm gonna weave in my ends and that'll complete round one. So I like to weave in all of my ends as I go. Um, it just makes it easier and it also helps your square, I feel like, turn out better by weaving in my yarn tails as I go. So that way I don't have stuff hanging out and in the way. And that completes round one. Now we're ready for round two. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick any of our stitches and we're gonna slip stitch with our new color, so color number two, into any of the stitches. I do not like to go into the same place that I just left off at, so I'll come over to a different stitch. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna simply insert my hook here. 
I'm gonna come and I'm gonna yarn over with the new yarn and pull through that stitch. I like to pin that yarn tail in place on the back side. Then I'm gonna chain two and that's gonna count as a double crochet. I'm gonna place another double crochet into the exact same stitch. And then I'm gonna chain two. Now into the next stitch, I'm gonna double crochet two together. So I do that by yarning over, inserting into the stitch, yarning over, pulling through the stitch. Now there's three loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull, <clears throat> yarn over, pull through two loops. <clears throat> yarn over, insert into the stitch. Yarn over, pull through the stitch. Now there's four loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Now there's three loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. Then I'm gonna chain one. Into the next stitch, I'm gonna double crochet two together. So yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over, pull through the stitch, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, insert into the exact same stitch, yarn over, pull through. Now I've got four loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Now I'm left with three loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through all three loops, and I'm gonna chain two this time. So the only thing that matters all the way around is I'm gonna double crochet into a uh, double crochet two together into each stitch around, but I'm gonna alternate one chain or two chains. So I'll have a gap of one chain, two chains, one chain, two chains. So I'll do a couple more so you can see what I'm talking about. So I just chain two. So into the next stitch, I'm gonna yarn over, I'm gonna double crochet two together. So I yarn over, insert, yarn over, pull through the stitch yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two stitches. Now I've got three on my hook, yarn over, pull through all three. Now I'm in a chain one, because again, I go one, two, one, two, as far as my chains in between them go. So yarn over, insert into my hook, or into my stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, back into the same stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through three, chain two. So I'm gonna keep going all the way around here, double crocheting two together in each stitch, alternating one chain or two chains in between them. I'll meet you when we get to the end of this round and I'll talk about how many gaps we have here. So now here's where it gets a little more interesting. I do need to chain two before I do the next one. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna yarn over, I'm gonna go into this space right here, insert my hook, yarn over, pull through. Now I've got three loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two. Yarn over, go back into that same space. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two. Now I've got three loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. Chain one. Now I'm gonna continue double crocheting two together in these remaining stitches, alternating between two chains or one chain in between them. All right, so we have one left. So I'm gonna yarn over, insert into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, insert into the stitch, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through all three, and then I'm gonna chain one. Now that I should be chaining one after this very last double crochet two together, because over here, this gap is a chain two. So again, you're going chain two, chain one, chain two, chain one. So this very last double crochet two together has to be followed by a chain one. If it's looking like you need to do a chain two, you're off somewhere. So just kind of keep that in mind. So I've chain one. I'm gonna slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet. I'm gonna cut off my yarn, cut it free from the block. I'm gonna fasten off and then I'm gonna weave in my ends, and I'm gonna talk about this before we move on to round three. So one thing I wanna point out is you're gonna have 16 of these double crochet two together spaces, and that very first two double crochets counts as one of those. 
So you could count, just pick a spot and start, and you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. You should have 16 of those. And you should also have eight chain two spaces. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you should have eight chain one spaces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Show you a picture here of what that looks like. And that completes round two. For round three, we're gonna join in any of the chain one spaces from the previous round. So I'm just gonna go right here into this chain one space. I'm gonna bring in my third color, which is the gold, and I'm gonna yarn over with it, pull through. I'm gonna chain one, and then I'm gonna single crochet into the exact same space. Now I'm gonna chain two, so here's one, and two. Into the next chain two space, I'm gonna place two cluster stitches that are separated by a chain one. So I'll show you how to do this cluster stitch. So I'm gonna yarn over, insert my hook into the chain two space, yarn over, pull through. Now there's three loops on my hook. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Yarn over, insert into the same space. Yarn over, pull through. Yarn over, pull through two loops. Now there's three loops on my hook. Yarn over, insert into the chain two space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now there's four loops on my hook. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through all four loops. Now I'm gonna separate the cluster stitches with a chain one, so I'm gonna chain one, and then I'm gonna repeat. I'm gonna put another cluster stitch into that same space. So yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now I've got three loops on my hook, yarn over, insert my hook into the chain two space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now I've got four loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops. Now I'm in a chain two, and then I'm gonna come over here to this chain one space, the next one, and I'm gonna place a single crochet. I'm in a chain two, and I'm gonna repeat into this chain two space. I'm gonna do the same thing that I did here. Two cluster stitches separated by a chain one space. So yarn over into the chain two, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over into the chain two, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over into the chain two, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now I've got four loops on my hook, Yarn over, pull through all four, chain one, yarn over back into the same chain two space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over into the chain two space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two. Now I've got three loops on my hook, yarn over, insert into the chain two space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two loops. Now there's four loops on my hook, yarn over, pull through all four loops. Now we're gonna chain two. So we're almost making, it's gonna kinda look like petals of a flower here for this round. So we're gonna keep going and keep repeating where in each chain one space, we place a single crochet stitch. And in each chain two space, we place a cluster, chain one, cluster. We're gonna chain two, single crochet, chain two, cluster, chain one, cluster, chain two, single crochet chain two, and then cluster stitch. So yarn over. So basically it's almost like you have three double crochets together. So make sure you have four loops and then you yarn over, pull through all four loops, chain one, and repeat the process. So there's one, two, three that I've got there. So basically almost like three double crochet starts, yarn over, pull through all of them chain two, go to the next chain one space and place a single crochet stitch, chain two, go to the next chain two space and then cluster stitch, chain one, cluster stitch, chain 
chain two, single crochet, chain two, cluster stitch, chain one, cluster stitch, chain two, single crochet, chain two, cluster stitch, chain one, cluster stitch, chain two, single crochet, chain two, cluster stitch, chain one, cluster stitch, chain two, single crochet, chain two, and then our last set of clusters into that chain two space. So here's one cluster stitch, chain one, and the last cluster stitch, then we're going to chain two, and then we're going to come and we're going to slip stitch to the top of that first single crochet stitch that we made. I'm going to clip off my yarn. I'm going to fasten off. And then I'm going to weave in my ends. And that completes round three. For round four, we're going to bring back in color number one. What we're going to do here is we are going to join in any of the single crochet spaces from the last row. So I'm just going to pick this one right here and insert my hook right into this space right here. With color one, I'm going to yarn over, pull through, and then I'm going to chain two. Into that same single crochet space, I'm going to double crochet. I'm going to treble crochet. I'm going to chain two. I'm going to treble crochet. I'm going to double crochet. And then I'm going to chain four. So there's one, two, three, four. Now, just like all my other stitches, if you need to see how to treble crochet in slower, more detailed movements, I've got a link to a video below for that. So I've chained four. I'm going to come over here to the next single crochet space from the last row and I'm going to half double crochet into it. Again, half double crochet, I've got a link to a video for that below. So I yarn over, insert into that single crochet, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three. I'm going to chain four again. One, two, three, and four. We're going to go to the next single crochet space, and we're going to go double crochet. So yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, we're going to treble crochet, so I'm yarning over twice, inserting into the single crochet, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two. I'm going to chain two, treble crochet, double crochet. So what I'm doing here is I'm creating corners. So there's a corner and there's a corner. Then what we're going to do is we're going to chain four. So one, two, three, and four. We're coming over to the next single crochet spot. We're going to place a half double crochet. So we yarn over, insert our hook into that single crochet, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through all three loops. We're going to chain four again. 
We're gonna go to the next single crochet space. So we're gonna work a double crochet, a treble crochet. We're gonna chain two, work a treble crochet, a double crochet. We're gonna chain four, go to the next single crochet spot, place a half double crochet stitch, chain four, go to the next single crochet spot, and we're gonna create our last corner here. So we're gonna double crochet, treble crochet, chain two, treble crochet, double crochet, chain four, come to the next single crochet spot. We're gonna half double crochet into it, chain four, and then we're gonna come and we're gonna slip stitch to the top of that double crochet stitch to finish off the row. We're gonna cut our yarn free. We're gonna fasten off and we're gonna weave in ends. And that completes round four. Round five is the very last round of our block here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring in our last color, color number four, which I have as white. And so in, into any of the chain two spaces from the previous round, we're gonna, that's where we're gonna slip stitch to. We're gonna insert our hook. So I'm gonna go right here. I'm gonna put my hook in here. I'm gonna yarn over with color four, pull through that space. I'm gonna chain two. Now I'm gonna place two double crochets into that chain two, two space from the previous row. So here's one double crochet and two double crochets. I'm going to chain two, place two more double crochets into that same corner space. So one and two. Now for this next part, you may have to kind of push those double crochets over because you're going to place a double crochet in each of the next two spaces, so here and here. So I'm gonna double crochet into this stitch and double crochet into the next one. Into this chain four space, I'm going to place four double crochets. So here is one, two, three, and four. We're going to skip over this space and we're going to put four more double crochets into the next chain four space. Now we're going to place one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Now this is where I weaved in my ends, so it might be a little bit harder to see. So I'm going to go here and here for the next two double crochets. So I'm gonna yarn over, I'm gonna go into this space, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two, put a double crochet in the next stitch. <clears throat> in the corner, I'm gonna place two double crochets. I'm gonna chain two and place two more double crochet stitches. You have to push it just a little bit and put one double crochet in each of the next two stitches. Then into the chain four space, I'm gonna place four double crochets. So we're gonna skip over this stitch. We're gonna put four double crochets in the next chain four space. I'm gonna place a double crochet in this stitch, a double crochet in the next stitch, 
two double crochets in the chain two space, so there's one, two, I'm going to chain two, I'm going to put two more double crochets in that same corner space, one double crochet in the next stitch, one double crochet in the next stitch, four double crochets in the chain four space, skip, four double crochets in the next chain four space, we're going to put a double crochet in the next stitch, a double crochet in the next stitch, I'm going to put two double crochets in the corner, we're in the chain two space, chain two, I'm going to put two more double crochets in that same chain two space. Push these to the side. I'm going to put a double crochet here, a double crochet here, and then we're on to our last side. And I'm going to put four double crochets in this chain four space. I'm going to skip this and I'm going to put four double crochets in the last chain four space. And then I'm going to put a double crochet in this stitch, a double crochet in this stitch, and then I'm going to slip stitch to the top of that first double crochet to close the round. Clip off my yarn. I'm going to fasten off here. And then I'm going to weave in my ends. And then I'll talk about this here after I weave in my ends. And that's my crochet flower granny square. I love the different variations that you can get by using the same yarn, but putting it in different orders. It's just kind of fun to see how they turn out. I love playing around with yarn and different color combinations and seeing what they end up looking like. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the bell so you get notifications of when I post new videos. And also, you're going to be able to find a written pattern for this actual block on my blog hopecornerfarm.com so if you want to see a written or a photo tutorial for this same square you can check that out and I hope you guys have a blessed day.